in this video we will briefly discuss about precocious puberty precocious puberty already have discussed in previous video in the female less than 8 year onset of thylarchy and less than 10.5 year or 10 year onset of menarche it is called precocious puberty now it is basically two types of precocious puberty the first is a central and the second is a peripheral why we are learning this thing because we want to know the reason so we are dividing this kind of precocious puberty in in central precocious puberty you will find thylarchy is present pubarchy is present and menarche is also present thylarchy means development of breast pubarchy means development of adrenal uh, androgenic hair and menarche means onset of menstruation but in peripheral precocious puberty you will find thylarchy pubarchy but not menarche okay why because in central pre precocious puberty there is a premature activation of hpo axis hypothalamic pituitary ovarian axis this axis is prematurely activated so the changes in the thing is a cyclical change the hormone will change cyclically and for menstruation to occur we need a hormone estrogen and progesterone to be there cyclically not continuously only cyclical change in this kind of hormones only lead to menses so here we will find menarche is present it is due to some cns problem because premature activation of pituitary and hypothalamus in peripheral precocious puberty you will uh, generally you will have a excessive sex steroid production by anything that can be a tumor or that can be overactivity secretion increase due to some ovarian tumor adrenal neoplasia exogenous estrogen anything mccune albright syndrome all these things will secrete estrogen and progesterone independently that's why and androgens independently that's why uh, we have a secondary uh, peripheral precocious puberty in central precocious puberty the re reason or the the reasons will be central cns kind of thing for example hematoma is the most common tumor which causes precocious puberty hydrocephalus any head injury any hypothyroidism severe hypothyroidism von deckling in husband disease all this thing will cause premature activation of hpo axis so these are the basic uh, reason for the precocious puberty now what is the treatment treatment will be continuous GnRH agonist in case of central precocious puberty why because this GnRH continuous GnRH will uh, will just close the pituitary or just stop the hypothalamic pituitary ovarian axis working that's why it is a treatment of choice in case of peripheral puberty we need to we need to see the uh, we need to find the reason and treat that reason accordingly so this is the precocious puberty thank you